Hi, this is Glitter Gloria, your posh plug. I am here with my one of my favorite service providers, Carrie. Carrie has been my dietitian, my nutritionist, like my wellness coach, almost for the last year. She's helped me prepare for my second revision surgery. Um, she helped me get down to the, the BMI weight that I needed to. She helped me accountable. And so I wanted to introduce my my followers and my subscribers to um to mrs carrie so i'm gonna let her do just this quick introduction about who she is and then i'm gonna get into some q a so you can understand glitter glory's approach and why you actually need someone like carrie who is successful she's like what number six or seven in the world for weight lifting. <laughs> like i pay like 500 bucks a month or more to see carrie so carrie's worth every investment go ahead carrie uh, yeah, so I am a registered dietitian. I have been doing that for about 14 years uh, in the Portland metro area. I have quite a bit of experience between working with people individually, working with menu management, and uh, started Healthy You Nutrition as a nonprofit organization, not only to work with individuals on their health and wellness goals, what they're looking to accomplish in their life, but also provide um, free community nutrition education classes that uh, for, for individuals with chronic health conditions. Uh, and what that looks like is bringing people together into a classroom, educating them about their nu nutrition and dietary needs to help manage their chronic health condition, as well as teaching basic cooking skills and, and building on cooking skills so that people are able to be successful in their um, diet changes and, and behavior changes to better manage their, their health and wellness. And yes, I am number uh, seven in the world for my age and weight um, for powerlifting. <laughs> so, um, I, do enjoy, I do enjoy uh, exercising and, and pushing my body and um, I'm a, a personal trainer on the side as well. So kind of try to tie those two pieces together between the, the dietary approach as well as the exercise approach to help people be as successful as possible. Okay, I, to I totally forgot you did the community classes as well. I mean, and so this is, this is what I found out though too though. I mean, I think working with you is because you do so much, right? I mean, you need number one, multiple streams of income but it always just isn't just the eating piece but it's also the, getting older and aging. And I think the important thing for surgery dolls to, you know, what we call our surgery dolls, either individuals that are getting ready to have surgery or those who have had surgery is that surgery only helps one part. It only helps the loose skin or say to get rid of, I don't know, maybe that last 10 to 15 pounds of fat. Yeah. And reshape you. But I think it's important that this, my surgery dolls, this is just my glitter glorious message to you. You need a carry in your life. You need a dietitian in your life because you, there's people that will go back multiple yeah. times to get liposuction and not saying that, don't get me wrong, not saying not to go back, but it's about, you, you don't want to keep going back for the same poor, poor eating habits when underlying a lot of the reasons why some folks are getting surgery is because we were out of control. We had poor habits and that's just the truth. Right. That's the truth. Yeah. Well, and, and your experience is that a lot of times you can't just walk into surgery without having some modifications to your diet and lifestyle. You had a BMI you had to hit in order to be safe through surgery. And so some of that weight loss is, is important just to keep you safe um, and, and, and help you get the outcomes that you're looking for and be able to heal well as, uh, also. Um, that nutrition piece is very helpful for, for wound healing um, and, and getting back and, and you know, back to your life as soon as possible. Is that, I think I was on my third or fourth surgery. No, because it's going to be my fourth surgery. And so I met, I start looking for a carry for a wellness dietitian because I was like, I can't do it alone. And I think it's important for individuals to know, yeah, you can, you know, yes, you're going to die alone. Yeah, you can do some things alone. But truthfully, you need to talk to the individuals that have the knowledge that have gone to school, that got the licenses, the certification, that, that they practice what they preach. I mean, carry look good. I mean, she's short, she's short, but you see Carrie in person, Carrie will power lift, lift you up in the sky, don't play with her. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's important. I mean, it made me realize that like, I have to stop talking to individuals that don't get it, people that don't understand that it's a, it's a mind thing when it comes to food and eating well. And you know, the, the truth is, I think that when I finally got to you and was like, listen, I've been dieting year after year, this diet doesn't work for me, this doesn't work for me. I love the fact that, you put together a customized plan. 
Can you talk right. a little bit about how you customize like your wellness and health plans for different individuals based on body, like different people's body types? And right. Uh, and it's more about lifestyle than body type. Um, I know there's some theories as far as like if you have a certain body type or you have a certain blood type or or something that you should be eating in a certain way to facilitate weight loss and uh, reality is, is all diets out there work. So I'm sure a lot of people have done their their research and they're looking into okay. like your ketogenic diets, your Atkins diets, your um, zone diets, your intermittent fasting. I mean, I could rattle off all of the different dietary patterns and and South, kind the, of South, the South Beach, the MTC the South, yeah. oil, the HCG, the yeah. intermittent fasting, the yeah. the Noom. Like I'm like we've spent thousands on diets. We've spent right. thousands on diet, slim fast, Atkins, right. high protein, no carb. Right. And all of them work. All of them will work. There is research. There is there's scientific evidence. There is anecdotal evidence to suggest that all of these will work. But what is really the key there is, will it work for you? Will it work for your lifestyle? Will you be able to be consistent and, and stay on it? So if you don't really like bacon and fatty foods, a ketogenic diet is not going to be a sustainable diet for you because that is a, a 70 to 75 percent of your calories coming from fat. Um, mm -hmm. But if you love that stuff, that might be a great dietary choice for you. And it, you know, research again right now is not suggesting that that very high fat diet low, you know, almost no carb, moderate protein may not have negative impacts long term. Because um, I know we're coming out of a, a generation where fat was bad, we were eating low fat diets, we were replacing mm -hmm. fat with sugar, and Americans did not get any healthier. If anything, we our, our health continued to decline. Um, so it, it's, it's really the key and what my goal is, is to listen, hear, learn about your lifestyle, learn about what is going to be realistic for you, then take the evidence and the research that we know um, is what helps people and, and help you incorporate that into your lifestyle so that it becomes habits, it becomes um, sustainable and not yeah. feeling as though I'm on a diet.